all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to take a closer look at this beautiful first generation mustang convertible that we have here uh this car i absolutely love the color combination it's very very correct for the 60s it's got that peppy 200 inline six in there uh, which gives this car surprisingly more than enough power to move its own weight. Uh, it's excellent condition. It has been rebuilt. Um, you know, of course, a lot of guys love that 289 rumble, but you know, in a convertible, a cruiser, I think this, uh, this application is perfect for this car. Put on the body lines, they're really nice. You could tell this car was restored at one point. And you take a look at the doors and, you know, quality control wasn't a big thing until about the mid 70s on certain lincoln's cadillacs things like that when you know uh american automakers decided to step their game up however this car is in great shape as you can see there's a slight gap in that door uh chances are this, there's definitely some aftermarket sheet metal on the car you know this car was um you know these cars i should say are, are some of the most popular you know cars to restore parts that are readily available they're inexpensive they're easy to maintain. They're very fun to drive. And most importantly, they're very iconic. I mean, just about anybody can point at this car and tell you it's a Mustang. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. It is gonna be a cold start. I just moved it out of its spot. As you can see here, I'm grabbing the radiator hose. Nothing's been fired up. And as soon as I turn that key, do it from right out here and it'll fire right up and it purrs. Excellent condition. It's very peppy. It moves itself very well. We're going to actually uh, get it over to the lift over there in the corner and show off the undercarriage. We're going to shut the hood here. And we'll show you what underneath looks like. All right, Mustang's up in the air. We'll make our way to the front and take a look at this undercarriage. This gentleman does live on a dirt road, so you will see some dirt underneath here. However, it is extremely solid. The good thing is, is that nothing here has been undercoated, so we can see all the exposed metals. We do see a little bit of surface oxidizing, but absolutely nothing that you would call rust or rust through. Um, be a good time to treat and coat the car. You see a little bit of the coating that was on here probably from those panels that may have been replaced and seam sealed at one point you're starting to oxidize here a little bit drive shaft exhaust looks good fuel tank looks like it's in good shape as well could use a really nice detail underneath here like i said gentleman does live on a dirt road so driving it off there we did receive a detail coming in here but uh the undercarriage of course should probably receive a nice power wash there you have it it's really solid really nice driver excellent condition if it's something that you want to cruise on a sunday take to a local show if it's not your style we've got a lot more to choose from check us out at www.classicsbeyond.com